As a child, I asked where I might find them. The hidden folk amongst the moths, the water dancers, the grove dwellers. Maybe at the standing stone when the moon is just so. Maybe as the dewy evening ebbs to an autumn twilight. In those places I stood, but no, I never saw them. Not the beasts on the moor, not the fair folk in the meadow. There was never a day I stopped searching. Instead, slowly I lost the art of seeing. So as a boy, I asked where I might find the hermit crab. Where does the doe hide her foal? What is the chemistry of cuckoo pin's love? Tell me the recipe of healing. In mapping the brain, maybe then one can find where the fairies live. With lenses, we found a sky full of stars and an earth full of microbes. We can learn the secrets to quelling suffering, drugs that soften pain, calm distress, broaden the mind. I learned how we are born and grow, how we wither, how we die. I learned to speak in the language of cause and record. All that was mystical, harrowed by the mechanical, affected fertility, for fresh thoughts to be supplanted. They fled from my light, ignorance, superstition, all despair. I learned to pull the levers and push the pedals, bring the engine to heal. I observed wonder, witnessed ingenuity. Mystery gave way to marvel, and marvel dismantled to symmetry. Will the wonder become mundane when all things are within our great progress? And so, as a man, I could ask nothing that could not be answered. Bolts break, cogs shatter, the machine is broken. We apply innovation, stone replaced by bronze, bronze replaced by iron. And too late in discovering the blind clockmaker is a cynical man. For his gifts, I put away my childish things forever dismantling, upgrading, rebuilding, progressing, just so the engine can lumber on. No trees, no mountains, no gods, just scenery from a train wreck. Nor siblings either, just actors speaking lines of transactional interest. Perhaps we are engine dwellers, Housed in a great dumb machine. Body, soul and function. Just the instruction creates us. Then don't waste the chance for hedonism. The fumes can be sweet. And the engine conveys us perilously above. And inevitably into the void. Not engineers. But tinkerers and bodgers. Not prophets, but blasphemers and salesmen. Aye, much progress and truth gleaned. But edited and sanitized are the strange stories of nature. Lineages of blue-blooded crabs who journey meanders around the shifting continents. While overhead, stars wheel, more numerous than the grains of gold and sand, all the rivers and seas can hoard. From the madness in the circumference of a circle to the star eaters which maraud the space between places, chaos besets us. The fingerprints of an irrational artist, our tidy chessboard speckled with shades of every colour. Under and around the chanting of the Cartesian monotone dogma, methought I heard the chimes of a hymn beyond my hearing. 
Imagine if man had weaved this robe of stars. How uniform the nylon threads would be. No room among herringbone stitch for mites to dream of kingdoms. Electrons do not orbit as planets round their parent star. Galaxies do not spin in step with Newton's dance. It was the crudeness of eternal heaven and a loving God that bade me put away my Bible chants. Exceptions fluster every rule. Creation never misly in its mechanism. A ground fit for stories to grow, contradicting patterns to weave, altruism to spread. Neither chaos nor reductionism, neither asleep nor awake, but instead a dreamed. I have neglected the language of the mystical. I forgot the art of its prayer, a language expressed with fictions and humour, suffering and standing stones. I was made deaf to the song lines which run deep and wide, shallow and thin. I am cast adrift, parents drowned to suffering, forsaken by science and faith as we did not clutch to drowning men's straws. Burning away are the tired yearnings of vindication and validation. Still, I cannot tell where the fairies dwell. More, I find this world strange regardless. But I do recognize their work here and there in this rising flood and the fulmers chatter.